Hi there and welcome to Sitem Church Online. My name is Mungara Kemashia. I serve as a pastor at Christ is the Answer Ministries and it's such a great pleasure and an honor to just bring this video to you. Mm -hmm. I am so excited in my heart because God has placed a burden in our heart concerning men. And so every man who is out there and you're watching this and you're catching this, just say ahu. It's just a sign of just saying, yes, we are ready. Yeah. And uh, from the Sitam Church Online, we just want to speak to men with love, you know, pray with you, just tell you that God loves you, we love you, we care. Mm. And that's why we have just dubbed this video and they will be coming to you, the seed. Can somebody say the seed? The seed. And on stage, on, on set in this video with me, I will be joined by the one and only, Precious Cole. Yes. Hi there, Precious. Hi, Pastor Kimasha. <laughs> He's a great man of God. Thank you. And we are so glad and we are looking forward to be a blessing to mm. you. We're looking forward to discuss various topics that affect the men. And so we will be talking about the seed. And I don't know, Precious, yes. when, when we say the seed, why? Why the seed? Um, I think when we talk about seed, mm -hmm. we, there is an aspect of growth and yeah. multiplication that comes into mind yes. and um and when we even think about it scientifically yeah. um it's the seed that reproduces that brings forth that causes an increase mm -hmm. um in number or even in harvest mm -hmm. even when you think um family wise it's mm -hmm. the seed of man that causes children mm -hmm. um and so i believe when we are talking about the seed and this being centered uh, a conversation centered around men mm -hmm. i believe we are geared up to the right direction because um, men to me are a very important pillar in the society and even in the church and when we shy away from the issues that are affecting us as men I think we are setting ourselves up for failure so I find it very prudent that we can be able to sit down and have conversations about men amen. because a man is God's idea come on a man Eish. is in the heart of God amen yes amen so the exciting. man is on fire yeah. <laughs> and we are looking forward to many more videos yes so that means we are seeing that we men we are the seed carriers yes we carry the seed mm. of course of you know even when you read Genesis yes. we are told go fill the earth yeah. multiply mm. for mm. the birth of a child to happen the conception mm. the man who is there seed carrier yes. has to give it out True. the other day i was actually listening to a clip mm. by one and only ben Coson. yes this is a son to john Coson, yes, yes and he was just doing an analysis of how we are living in a generation of switches mm. uh, when you enter your car these days we don't need keys you press a button <laughs> receive a button those of you who are still using keys amen you know you just touch <laughs> yes and the engine Ignites, starts yeah you know you go to your house mm. you want to take a shower we no longer go Heating with buckets water, yes you know the exactly. old man yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for those who don't understand that language just say there are men who you had to boil their water yeah. for them to take a shower these days mm. at the switch of a button yes Water is hot and, and there are many switches in life. Mm. And we're just trying to admonish the, the, the body of Christ. Mm. And as we admonish the men and we're just trying to build a case on why the need of us paying attention mm. to the seed, quote unquote, the man. Yes. Mm. So we're saying seed will take time mm -hmm. to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, you just plant. Mm -hmm. It's not like a switch whereby you switch on Indeed. and switch Indeed. off, there yeah. is power. Yeah. So for seeds, you have to sow them on the ground mm -hmm. and it will take time. Yeah. The environment has, be, has to be conducive right. for that seed to do what? To, to germinate. Mm -hmm. And so it was just saying, God will take us through processes of life. God will plant things within us. Right. God will deposit something within us and mm -hmm. it takes time. time. And I want to believe outside there, there are many men whom God has deposited a seed of greatness, mm. a seed of leadership, you know, just a seed of continuing the generation mm -hmm. from one generation to another. Yeah. I am also married, mm. you know, mm. and I believe there is a deposit of God in me mm. that only I, by the grace of God, even in that context of marriage, yes. can achieve. Yes, sure. Because we are called to leadership. Mm. We are called to offering, you know, just direction in the family. Mm. And so there is, there is need for us to recognize as men that mm. 
we carry a seed. That's right. And because there is that seed of greatness in us, there is that deposit of God in us, mm. then I don't know what's happening outside there. What stories have you had <laughs> and what's happening around men yes. that has actually come to threaten yeah. the very aspect of the seed? Yes. Yeah. I think I like how you mentioned that for seed to grow, there is need for the right environment. Mm -hmm which I think gives a very good backdrop for some statistics that I bumped into the other day, mm -hmm. which says about 90 million of men, of men are not involved in any kind of discipleship. Wow. And only 6 million of men are involved in discipleship. Mm -hmm. And only one, and um, out of 6 million, sorry, only one out of 18 men wow. have given themselves to discipleship. Wow. It goes on to say now, this the next one is particularly in the U.S., mm -hmm that the typical U.S. congregation draws an adult crowd that's 61% female, 39% male, and this mm. gender gap shows up in all categories, wow. especially in matters ministry, yes. that the participation of yes. women is always higher. Yes. Then it goes on to say, um, on any given Sunday, mm -hmm. there are 13 million more adult women than men. In the churches. <laughs> Not just in million. the U.S., yes, even all in over. Kenya. 13 million <laughs> more women than wow. men in adult ch in wow. churches wow. and then it says um um midweek activities mm -hmm. um, uh, um midweek church activities often draw 70 to 80 percent female participants oh my. and only 20 percent oh men oh my. and i think when we look around our churches yes we can bear witness you actually don't even need a scientific <laughs> no you don't questionnaire no you Just don't need to open your observe. eyes and look and observe <laughs> true wow. Wow. then he also says that majority of church employees are mm -hmm. women except for ordained clergy who are overwhelmingly male, 70% mm -hmm. of the boys who are being raised in church today yes. will abandon it during their teens oh and in God. their 20s. God forbid. Many of these boys will never return. Oh my. Then he says more than 90% of men believe in God and mm -hmm. five out of six call themselves Christians, mm -hmm. but only two out of six attend church wow. and are given to discipleship. Wow. Wow. The average man accepts the reality of Jesus but fails to see any value oh in my. going to church. Oh my. Say, me, I'm oh just my. a good man. Yes. I believe in God. Eish. I do good things. But church, no yeah. thanks. Yeah. Then he says also um, that Christian universities are becoming convents. Mm -hmm. The typical Christian college enrolls almost two women for every one man. Wow. Fewer than 10% of churches are able to establish and maintain a vibrant men's mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. Few than 1% of church-going men participate on any or in any sort of ongoing wow. men's ministry wow. program. Wow. Wow. Fewer hey. than 1%. Okay. Okay. In just just even pause there because if you continue with those statistics, <laughs> we might get a headache right yeah, there. Yes. Because then the question is the mm. same question that God asks yes. Adam. Mm. You remember in yeah. the book of Genesis, where, where are, are you? Exactly. And actually, as we bring this program to you, these videos to you, mm. you know, hashtag the seed, yes. hashtag calling you out, man. Mm. We just want to ask you. Where are you? Yes. Where have you been? Mm. You know, in the family frontier, where are you? Yes. Are you present mm. as a husband? Are you present, mm. you know, as a brother? Mm. Are you present as a wife? Mm. Are you present as a boyfriend? Mm. You know, are you present? Yeah. And so what are some of the topics we are looking forward to address? We we'll talk about sexuality. Mm. I know, yeah, that's a key one for men. Yes. You know, recently in Kenya, we talked about how many girls been pregnant in a certain county. <laughs> five thousand. Five thousand, and I was like, where are the men? Yes. So where are the five thousand men? Men, exactly. Because as we've said, mm. for someone to be pregnant, yeah. not unless you're Mary, and we are not having a repeat <laughs> <laughs> of the Jesus moment. <laughs> of Jesus moment, right. there has to be a man. There has yes. to be mm. the seed. Mm. And so there is a disparity right. even in the society. Mm. We will talk about leadership. Yes. We will talk about God's idea and God's design of of man right once in a while we'll talk about some contemporary issues that affect men mm -hmm. yeah I, I think you're a very smart man maybe you will <laughs> give us a few tips of grooming <laughs> and you can be sure yes. god is going to minister to you as a man mm. and pray with us like the video share it mm. but the takeaway is this mm. that listening to those statistics that precious has raised the big question that we want to bring to us in this introductory video is where are you exactly and if you feel your answer maybe is not a very good answer you're not very confident then hit the like button mm. share this video because as you follow and as you listen as you hear God's voice I can tell you God will give you a direction 
of the next step to take mm. as a man. God bless you. Uh, we are looking forward to hearing from you. Right. In case of any comment, in case of any feedback, there's a number appearing on your screen right now. Just get in touch with us. Brother Precious and I will be glad mm. just to minister to you yes. and to be a blessing to you. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you.